Mac spoofing. What is it? How do you use it? And are we being sued by Apple over it? It's time to find out in our latest feature guide. Despite its name, Mac spoofing doesn't have anything to do with Apple computers, so we're safe from their lawyers. Instead, it's a feature that lets you hide one of the identifiable aspects of your internet-connected computer. A Mac, or Media Access Control Address, is a unique identifier assigned to your device's network adapters. Think of it like a digital name tag for your device. That name tag is what lets the Wi-Fi router know that it's you who requested to see, oh, I don't know, an eBay listing for a diesel-powered Christmas sweater, and doesn't send that particular web page to your roommate's phone instead. Now, unlike the IP address you use, a MAC address cannot be seen by the websites you visit. Instead, a MAC address is exposed to the network that you're connected to, so it can be seen by the router and other devices on the same network. While this won't really cause problems at home, it can be an issue on public networks. For example, let's say you want to head over to the coffee shop with your laptop to get some work done. You get to star... ducks? Yes, star ducks, a totally original and unaffiliated coffee shop name I just came up with, and connect to their public Wi-Fi. By doing this, you're presenting the unique name tag, the MAC address, of your device to that network. Now let's say the next day you head to a different part of town, walk into a different Star Ducks, and connect that same laptop to their public Wi-Fi. You might be many miles away, but the network at this location very likely shares their data with the other Star Ducks locations. And now, because you've presented your unique MAC address in two separate locations, those pesky network admin overlords can track your movement by seeing your device's MAC address in two different places. You don't even need to go to multiple locations to be tracked, just one is enough. They'll know how often you visit, how long you're sticking around for, and if you're not using a VPN, they'll even know the websites you're visiting on their network. Heck, you could still be using a VPN, and they can still fingerprint your device and track you as you move across networks. But not to worry, this is where Winscribe comes in to save the day with our Mac spoofing feature. Just like enabling the VPN will spoof your IP address, enabling Mac spoofing will spoof your MAC address. Let me show you how it's done. First, open the Winscribe application on your computer, head over to the Preferences menu, and the Connection submenu. Now scroll down in here until you see the MAC address spoofing feature, and switch it on. Now you need to select the network interface, also known as the primary Wi-Fi or Ethernet adapter that your computer uses, and finally, click this rotate arrow to get a brand new random MAC address. And Viola! The next time you head to Stardux and connect to their Wi-Fi, they'll think you're a brand new customer who's never been there before. You can even go one step further and make this process automatic by enabling the auto-rotate option as well. With this toggle on, Winscribe will automatically rotate your MAC address every time your computer disconnects from any network. That way, whenever you connect to a network, you'll appear as a new device that has never connected there before. Pretty nifty if you ask me. Well folks, that's all there is to it. Now you know what a MAC address is and how to protect yourself against being tracked through it. I call that a win in my book. My name's Gary, and I'll see you next time.